Thank you so much for tuning in on today's video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, my name is Kate and this is Kate Vlogs. Here we talk about business related videos. I also do hauls, I do plugs, I do product and service reviews and um, I also do makeovers and other lifestyle related videos that at least bring or improve the life of my viewer so most importantly i do videos that are educational and i hope that you're going to join this family by subscribing uh don't forget to tap the post notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you will be among the first person to get notified so in today's video so um i've been talking a lot about starting a cosmetic business and most of you wanted to know about the capital that you require to start a cosmetic business and um for you to start and develop a fully packed cosmetic business will require thousands and thousands of money almost 100,000 to 200,000 is a well stocked beauty shop that has almost everything and i just realized that most people that watch me are people that want to start small because of the amount of money that they have and i decided to come up with three three areas of a cosmetic business that you can start with a very small amount of capital and still thrive in business and make a lot of profits so i will go straight to the point and number one i want to specifically talk about the perfume refill business uh when you look at the whole of a beauty shop a perfume refill business is one of the most profitable businesses that you can have in your cosmetic shop because the buying price is too low and yet the returns are so big the profit margin is very very big and this is one business that you would want to venture into because of the great returns so basically what you require in a perfume refill business is just a small shop a very very small shop and in that small shop you make sure that you at least put a lot of uh, display in form of glasses glass display so that you're able to like arrange your perfumes in such a way that the customers will be able to see the the names of the perfumes that you are selling so basically you require the perfume refill bottles which are now called the display bottles you also require a syringe you also require um the perfume bottles that the customers will come to buy in case they don't have theirs so basically that is what you require and that is a business that you can start with 3,000 shillings only and the 3,000 shillings will give you massive, massive, massive profits. Now, um, let me just narrow down to an example. If you buy a perfume that is worth 500 shillings, you're going to get 2,000 shillings from that perfume. So that means that you're going to get almost 1,500 in form of profits. So this is a very, very profitable business. And in that display, the glass display bottle in your perfume shop should always have this um, lighting to make sure that even when it gets dark or when the weather is not very bright, customers are still able to see what you are selling. And in addition to perfume, you can also add some things like roll-ons, deodorants, body splashes, and so on. So that will require less than 5,000 shillings overall. And then you look for a place where there is high traffic because that is where you're going to sell the perfumes faster and you will keep on restocking even faster. So that is everything about perfume. So make sure that you have the display bottles. And also something that I want to remind you that you don't even have to have the posh glass container display perfume bottles. They don't have to be the glass ones. So normally, uh, some people are asking me what they should go with when they're going to get the perfume. You don't require anything when you go to get perfume because uh, when you get go to get the perfumes from wherever um, the, the sellers are or the world sellers are, they usually have these uh, bottles that are plastic um, for sale to customers. So you don't even buy them. They are free of charge. So you can start with that one before you buy the perfume refill uh, display bottles. And the display bottles cost, um, they cost 150 shillings right now. So that is very, very affordable. By the time me, I was starting my beauty shop, I never even knew these plugs. I never knew where to get perfume from. So I used to buy perfume at 12 shillings and I bought the display bottles, 10 of them. 
at 200 shillings imagine each of them now i'm plugging you with a perfume refill that costs eight shillings per ml and the refill bottles the display bottles that i'm plugging you with cost um 150 shillings only that is something that you should go for because that is very very affordable but uh you don't have to have the display bottles for you to have a perfume refill business i hope that that is clear something else that you can start if you don't have all the money to start a very big beauty shop is just open a small shop and concentrate exclusively on makeup or makeup products so by makeup and makeup products i mean that you should sell only products like foundation you should you should sell um primer uh, there is concealer there is um eye pencils eyeliners mascara setting spray for the makeup and also uh, we have eyeshadow palette we have lightening products for the face definitely and then we have beauty soaps we have lashes we have lash glue we have lipstick we have lip gloss we have lip liners you know that all those only products that are for the face can make a shop a complete shop that is for makeup only so uh when you're when you're selling such things you make sure that at least you stock on uh, a few of the originals and a few of fake ones by the way uh, if you go to a place like Dubois, every makeup that you get there is fake. Fake. So it is not like you know, maybe lens lens are 2K. No, 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 no. You can even get a foundation that is being sold at 45 shillings, 50 shillings. So definitely, definitely that is not original. So uh, depending on where your location, the location of your shop will be, uh, you will know the kind of uh, products to stock on but because um, I'm talking about pro uh, businesses that you should start with very very small capital I think I'm talking to somebody that does not have this much um, or a lot of money so just stick to Zillas and yeah, the cheap brands they still get customers so you can also add on eyelash brushes um, the, the makeup brushes such kinds of, of things I hope that you understand and then um, in addition to that you can also add some cutex some hina small small things that you will not uh, strain you in uh, buying them in in large quantities and um, i hope that that is a kind of business that you would want to start with before you expand into a bigger beauty shop another way of doing a cosmetic business but just concentrating on a certain line is just being um is just having a shop that deals with hair only so when i talk about hair only i talk about uh braids all kinds of braids that are in the market all companies be it olivia be it angels darling rondis all those kinds of braid the ombre braids everything braid should be in your shop and then also make sure that you stock on weaves make sure that you stock on crochets make sure that you stock on wigs make sure that you stock also on extensions extensions should be of longer size and the shorter ones because most people love most young women uh, love long extensions and most aged women love the short ones number four where you can open a shop and deal exclusively with jewelry so you open a shop deal exclusively with jewelry why you sell a lot of earrings every type of earrings there is in the market the original earrings the plastic earrings the coated earrings and every type of earring the longer ones bronze coated earrings gold coated earrings silver original and fakes make sure that you talk everything about the earrings and then Apokwa earrings you should also stock on studs the studs are those earrings that can be put by somebody that has not pierced their ears and that is what most men will love something else are necklaces uh, make sure that you stock on all kinds of necklaces the pearls the plastic ones the maasai ones the wedding ones anything that can be put on the neck make sure that you stock on it something else are the um, chains 
Uh, we have the gold coated chains, we have the silver chains, bronze chains, that is the female chains, that is the main chains. The main chains are the ones that have the bigger, bigger uh, metals. And then stock on watches, stock on from the cheapest watches to the most like uh, the Porsche kind of watches and bangles, metallic bangles, be it Maasai bundles, be it plastic bangles. Uh, so you stock on every kind of bangles that is in the market and rings, 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 rings. Stock on all kinds of rings from the cheapest to the most classic ones. You make sure that you stock on them. They are very, very affordable in Kamkunji. And um, I think that is already a complete business that is exclusively dealing with jewelry so i've talked about four businesses in summary i've talked about the perfume refill business i've talked about the makeup exclusively makeup shop i've also talked about an exclusively hair shop and lastly i've talked about an exclusive jewelry shop so if you have reached this point of the video thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content if you are a subscriber and if you are at this point of the video and you have not subscribed please 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 subscribe it is actually free of charge i will really really appreciate your support because um the views are what makes me even get a lot of energy to continue producing even quality and quality videos and also give this video a thumbs up if you have not give it a thumbs up comment your thoughts uh, down below and also don't forget to share with your friends I will really really appreciate and I really thank you um, for the support it is really immense and um, I will see you on my next video bye